What's up guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hi I'm Sin and welcome to my channel and in today's video we're going to be doing something very new to my channel, very very new to my channel. If you guys do not know, um, if you actually know me or whatever, you know I'm not big on cooking. I'm not big on cooking. I feel like it takes too long. It takes too much. I just, I've never been into doing it. But now, I have a baby. He's going to be growing up soon. And so, I've decided it's time to stop being lazy when it comes to cooking. And just try it. Just get into it. Just do it. So, today I'm going to bring you guys along with me for that. If you guys enjoy it, and I'll keep you along with the journey. And as I, you know, cook and make, like, meals, I'll bring you guys along so you can watch and see what I do. But today, we're going to be making pork um barbecue pork chop either mashed potatoes or rice i don't really know yet and then for a vegetable i forgot to pick up vegetables so we're probably just going to eat corn and just call it a day so barbecue pork chops mashed potatoes or rice and corn so the thing the what can i say the star player of us cooking today the crock pot yes we're going to make the pork chops and the crock pot and then put that up you'll be able to see it when it's time for me to use a crock pot but and then the other star is jesus slow cooker liners so i'm using these yeah it's my first time using them i feel like it'd be good so that i don't have to do all that Clean it up or whatever. So the pork chops, they're already washed and clean and whatever else in here is waiting for me to season them and whatnot. So honestly, I forgot the measurements and stuff. Well, I guess I can show you guys. Like, let me, you know, actually, let me get myself together and then I'm gonna come back and so I can, you know, yeah, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So the recipe that I am using, it comes from a YouTuber that I watch. She makes like a lot of crock pot videos. Her channel name is Julia. I'm probably gonna say that wrong. I'm just show you guys. That is her YouTube, and this is the video, which I'll have the video link down below so that you can like, you know, see it. But I'm getting it from the six new dump and go crock pot dinners, easy, tasty, slow, whatever, whatever. So ingredients, I'ma cut it in half because I didn't realize it said two pounds. So I have one pound of skinless, boneless pork chops. You'll need chicken broth. And like I said, for measurements and stuff, I have the actual recipe link down below. Ranch seasoning. This is my first time trying this. Or at least like me buying it and using it. And barbecue sauce. It's that easy, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead. So, she don't actually season the pork chop when she first put it into there. I'm going to do that. So, she don't, she, she didn't put any seasoning on the pork chops before she put them into the crock pot. I am... Just because, you know, that's just what I do. So, yeah. So, I'm going to let you guys come this way. To kind of see what I'm doing. So, for the seasoning that I'm going to use, it's just going to be salt and pepper. And then just a little bit of soul food seasoning. Just to add a little salt to it. Before I get my hands dirty, we're gonna put the liner inside of the, the, the crock pot. And I just wanna say how expensive these is to only get eight. But I guess, you know, you don't cooking a crock pot that much but I thought I could get more for cheaper so this is the bag okay so now that that's done now I'm gonna mix the pork chops together so that's lightly seasoned Okay, so that is step one complete. And now we're going to take 
the chicken stock and we're going to pour it on top of the pork chops. So like I said, I got half the amount of what is stated. So for two pounds, she said you one and three fourth cups of chicken broth. I'm gonna try to figure out what half of it is so that I can use that much. Okay, so I'm gonna just do a cup. This is oh, you almost had a heart attack. <laughs> I opened it and it's already open, but it opens when you turn it. Say, who trying to who trying to pour it for me? Anyway, so I'm gonna just do a cup. Let you guys see what's going on. So as you saw, I decided to add a little bit more just because I wanted the liquid to cover off the pork chop and whatnot. So that's why I did that because once it gets done, we're going to drain the juice anyway. So I did that. The instructions are to cook it on low for four hours and let it be. So whenever it's time to do the next part of this, that's when I'll start cooking the other stuff because, you know, try to get it done at the same time. So I'm going to put this into the fridge and then just chill around until it's time for those to be done so i'll see you guys once we come back to figure that out okay y'all i forgot to check back in <laughs> so i done started doing stuff y'all being fast so i put some rice on this is the rice that i'm using it's the beans original long grain white rice I like it because it's simple like you literally just double it in the pot and go here. So I like this rice. And I used the last of the chicken stock to make the rice in and then I did the last one third of it with water. And then I'm trying to find my seasoning that I like to put in rice. I feel like it's this but I can't remember. But I feel like this is what it is. So I'm going to put a little bit of this. And then I'm gonna just, I'm gonna let the rice cook. And then the pork chops, they got, well, it's, I'm pretty sure they got like an hour maybe left or whatever. But y'all, they smell so good. I was left with my sister. Kind of lifted it up to see what it smelled like. I'm just like, I don't know. Like, let me see. And we both was like, oh, that smells good. Like, I'm gonna smell it again. Let me show you. Just, look it. Well, you ain't baby sick. I don't want to open it too much. Well, I'll open it so you can see it. I'll do that for y'all. So that then we can do the part with the barbecue sauce. So actually, I can go ahead and do that. Like, these are the So I'm going to get the stuff and then we're going to make that. Okay, y'all. So here I'm making a barbecue mixture and I'm using the Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. I used the cup and I had the cup in the bowl because y'all I was pouring that barbecue sauce and almost dropped it all on the counter. So I was like let me put it down. But I put one cup of the barbecue sauce in there and then I'm using this seasoning. It's the ranch seasoning. They usually have it in like the packets but I got the big thing like she did. <laughs> and I used one and a half tablespoons. I just used the tablespoon to try to like do half and do whatever. And then I just mixed it up until everything was mixed together and I seen no more white. And I was very skeptical of this mixture. I ain't even gonna lie to you. But you'll see how it turned out in the end. And then this is the rice finished. I love using this rice, y'all, because it's less work and it comes out great every time. Now I'm putting the corn on into this pot. I know this pot looked little, but I made it work. I didn't want to get no big old pot. So I'm just putting the corn on to cook nice, low, and slow. And the four hours was almost up on the pork chops. Not quite yet, but I was getting impatient. I just felt like the four hours should have been up by now. 
but I went ahead and took the pork chop out. I took the thing and drained all the drippings and the chicken stock out of the pot, except for some of the little pieces, and put the pork chop back in there. Took the barbecue mixture and put it all over the top and try to get it all through there. I ended up putting some more barbecue sauce in there just because I felt like it needed to have more barbecue sauce. And then again, me being impatient, I had set it to high for 30 minutes when I was really supposed to do low for an hour. So I would do low if I do it again. All right, y'all. So the food is finished. So I'm about to fix it. Let you guys see what it looks like. This is the final product. Barbecue ribs, rice and corn. So I'm going to taste it. So let's see. Yes. Mm. I've got real people. Look at it. Look. It is bomb. Yeah, yeah, I had to went down went and sat down on my plate and forgot to film my outro. But if you guys enjoyed this video and enjoy cooking with me, let me know down in the comments and I'll keep it going. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully I will see you in my next video. This is Sin signing off. Peace.